everything is harder. Like it's, how am I gonna get pull-ups? How am I gonna get wipes? You know, luckily I get food stamps as well. So we're, we always have food in the house, but um, like, how am I gonna pay my electricity? Like getting clothes for my kids and just things like that. It's just, everything is harder. I'm just like taking a corner and I just, it just started kind of like slipping, like started fishtailing and it was starting to go towards the edge of the mountain, which it goes like straight down. So I just turned my wheel towards the, the mountain and when I hit it, it hit the side of the wheel and flipped me on my, on my side. Because of the recent separation and divorce, I have had to basically downgrade everything that I have. There's only one income coming in now. And so like my insurance, it was full coverage, but then I had to, you know, downgrade that to legal liability. Therefore, it wasn't covered. It was taken directly to the tow yard. And so the insurance won't cover it. One's in high school, one's in daycare, one's in um, kindergarten. So um, I have to leave really early in the morning and I go, you know, to one school and then the other school and then like in a big, you know, circle around the town pretty much. There's a lot that people don't understand. People who've always, you know, been above the poverty line or fortunate, you know, I don't think they'll ever really understand. And a lot of people also think that women just will have babies just to be on welfare. Well, um, that may be the case with some people. I don't know, but I definitely don't like the way that it feels to have to be on welfare. And it just seems like men can get a job that has, you know, a higher rate of going up. Their ceiling, it seems like, is a lot higher than ours is. I was married two times, so I wasn't expecting to just all of a sudden be the only one taking care of my kids. You just have different plans in mind, like for your children and your life and things don't go that way.